Chris Bowen, our, our, our mighty climate and energy minister. I'm, I'm guessing he didn't show up at the renewables, the reckless renewables rally. He is such a renewable energy zenith for the sake of supposedly saving the planet, but he is so hardline against nuclear energy, it's sort of funny. Uh, do, you, do you think money is one of the reasons he's so opposed to nuclear? Oh, look, I think for Chris, it's just basic politics and, mm. you know, I'll come to that. But in terms of, yeah, but I'll just confirm Chris Bowen did not make an appearance at the rally, nor did he meet, to my knowledge, any of the uh, people who came along. Uh, I know some people from my part of the world who asked to see Senator Murray Watt, the, the agricultural minister, who's all, they're also constituents of his because he's a senator for Queensland. Uh, they asked to meet him. And not only did they not receive a response, even saying yes or no, the day before the rally, uh, Senator Murray Watt met with Farmers for Climate Action and put out a tweet saying how much farmers love renewable energy, despite just days before this report I mentioned showing that actually 90% of farmers don't want this stuff. Uh, and so the, the deceit that's going in here from the government is terrible. These people came to Canberra, thousands of people came to Canberra hoping that Canberra, that the parliament, that their elected representatives would listen to them. Instead, they got a lecture. They got a lecture from the Labor Green government about how, in fact, renewable energy is really good for you and you're just misguided and and and, and beset with misinformation. You really just no, don't know how good you've got it. Yes. That kind of patronising attitude, of course, is why people are so in disgust with their own government. Now, mm -hmm. in terms of why Chris Bowen is pursuing this, this mad obsession with renewables, uh, for me, it's just about politics. He's just all about votes. He's about getting those green preferences. Uh, look, no doubt, as I mentioned earlier, that right now people in the cities primarily view wind and solar factories as a good thing because they've been, that's the propaganda that have been put to them by the large energy companies and the advertising campaigns they run. Uh, they, we need to f f fire up a grassroots movement to tell people the real story. And mm -hmm. I'm confident that people in the city don't want to see our farmers hurt. They like Australian farmers. They like making sure that Australian agriculture can survive. They don't want, they wouldn't support a plan, which the Victorian government wants to do, which is to take over 50% of the arable land in Victoria and convert it to wind and solar factories. How are we going to grow our food if we go down that path? And I think once those facts uh, and, and the reaction from the bush is clear to people in the city, the politics will turn around on Chris Bowen very, very quickly.